the Lamborghinis have my name on it, don't you? Would you like a couple? Now, this is live, so we get to play and ask questions, too. Now, let's understand today, there's no pictures, there's no recording. You got to put it here, mindset. You got to make things habit for me. I like goodies. Do you like goodies? But the problem is getting kind of goodies like this, all right, it's going to be expensive. And you want the corporation to write it off anyway. So you get goodies like that when you hit five million. Is that okay? So me, sad story. Nobody cared. Hey, we all have a sad story to tell, don't we? All right, me, my thinking and feeling sorry for myself is three seconds or less. I'll give you three minutes, okay? My story began when I was born in a taxi on the way to Gardena Hospital. She didn't want me. I get to be with Mrs. Hope, the she-devil from hell. Your journey begins today with me. Tablet and pen, look behind that curtain. See, I don't think you look behind the curtain ever. I think you hear the word no and you accept it. I think that's the biggest mistake that you do. So let's understand something today. I'd like you to get out your personal credit cards or write down at least the rules and tools how to play. I'm the guy that trained Ken Yarborough, security chief of tier W years ago, became Asperian, and everybody followed like ducks and sheep. Take your cards in the back of them, put a sticky, write down the limit of the card, maintain 25% always, never pass 29%. The rule is very simple. What you did, most of you, you jacked them up, you got stuck, you couldn't get any more, you backed yourself and your family in a corner, and you couldn't write up diddly squat. I don't understand, stupid. Do you understand, stupid yet? So understand when it comes to balancing your debt, you need to create a line of defense. Now, I can teach you how to maintain the 750 the rest of your life from now on. The report's wrong. Thomas Raymond Warwick. They made bicycle parts, got information business. So what did they do? 96? They were bought out by Asperian. When I drew the first drawing like this, it was good, fair, or hell no. So here's the thing. Balance the debt. Understand these two cards in my hand don't fluctuate your credit ever again. You can maintain 750 score, and that way you don't bring the pain home to your family ever again. Simple. See, I want you to make sure you have your tablet and pen as we begin. The rules and tools I give you today, everyone should use them in high school so they don't make the same mistake you did. Very simple. Corporation's a legal person. It's right here. Corporation's a legal person that may sue or be sued. Now, I heard that when I was a little boy. I was at the Hope family house. I had been listening to a poker game. They told me I was weird in the corner writing my notes. Pretty simple. I didn't pay attention where it says may sue or be sued. Now, I'm seven and a half years old. I wrote it down. I wanted to know what it was to get out of hell. I went down to the Torrance Police Department the next day, went to the library next door. Man, what does this mean? She was rude. She walked away. Five minutes later, here's a mock of hands. Here's a bug. I read the bug. Here's the problem. You've allowed a friend and family member to rip you off. You spent thousands of crap didn't work. I know you did. So do you. I went and learned the corporation. I read the book. What I found out is the corporations were free. No one had to pay thousands of dollars for an attorney, a CPA, and corporate service. That's BS. And the reality is I sent away my money order. When I was nine and a half years old, got a little brave enough to do that too. So I sent it away for $10. You got 30 bucks? California nonprofits, $30 today. Okay. Now, my corporation came back. It was Helping Hand Industries. I got $100,000 of credit in the mail. Mrs. Hope thought I was a crook. She called that attorney at that poker game, and Ted Turner, too. And I told him how to use the SS4, or 26 ways. 100000 of credit cards in the mail? People in the 70s and 80s got credit cards in the mail without applying for credit. I got named the movie Dave, too. When I was 12 and a half, I got named in a lawsuit, all right, because I used the word Braille. I had to learn to trade name, trademark, and copyright and what that all meant, too. So the goal for you is never to bring the pain home. Is that okay? Never bring the pain home again? Simple. So we got to look at what happens today if you have a corporation or I hand you one for free. You see, the corporation's on the Secretary of State's website. So is your name. When they sue that corp, they sue you. You're a duck and a sheep. Quack, quack, quack. Maybe you do that all day. I don't know. So let's understand. You got an LLC? Don't worry. The Treasury Department's looking for you January 1st. They're going to kick your assets with the CTA Act because you got an LLC. So the goal is not to what? Bring the pain home. The next thing is put your ducks in a row. See, that represents a million dollars, by the way. Never bring the pain home. So let's understand warning about me. 
I have to wear a warning label because I'm honest and I'm blunt. If you follow, you know, I'm going to tell you the rules and tools and how it works and tell it like it is. If you follow stupid, you did stupid. That doesn't mean you're stupid. What you did was stupid. So the reality is I am Ray Reynolds, the godfather of credit. Build millions and billions for people like you. I'm going to tell you what to do. And I'm going to treat you like you're two years old. Because from now on, you're never going to bring the pain home. Is that okay? Now, you need a checklist like this. There's a goal list. We have to break that down and do it together. Then I want you to have a daily list, a weekly list, and then the projects we're going to accomplish today. I want you to have a project list as well. So let's understand what I did for me. I was bored when I got to 2.6 billion to 26 through corporate structure, having all the goodies that I have. It's kind of fun. So what do you do when you have everything you want? Well, it's simple. Help people like you. My wife calls this my hobby. So let's understand foolproof program. You can't even screw it up as long as you follow through. Now, I got rich and famous people every day. All right, ultimate goal, even basically homeless people too. All right, a million six for Giovanni. Little Karen doing property, properties in Long Beach, California. A million two in nine months? How about people coming out of prison? Free Ray, Ricky, Dicky Ross, golden platinum cards. Got to learn to play. Been in prison for 20 years. Simple to do. How about Thomas? He was in prison for 26 years. Within six months, coming to the office every week. I repackaged him and coached him every step of the way. He did most of the work for him anyway. How about brand new dump trucks? You see, your problem is you don't understand how to play the game. And the biggest mistake is you didn't understand how it's structured too. We got an SS5 that you did at 14 to 16, unless you were born after 71, then mommy did it at the hospital for you too. From there, the SS5 equals SSN, social security number, and that creates a 1040 tax return. You get one, only one. We the people. Corporation's a legal person. So understand that SS what? In SS5? All right, let's compare it to the SS4. Let's put our hands like this. SSN, SS5, tax, 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 and you got to live on the leftover? That kind of sucks. The SS4, there's no tax due until you're profitable. Isn't that the way to play the game and win? But it's up to you. See, if you're a crook and you don't file tax returns, just go to prison like Wesley Snipes did. He went to prison for three years, fined five million bucks, ruined his whole life and career. So don't be a crook. Understand 1244. Go to the IRS.gov today and find out you can find one, file one single filing tax return for you and the corporation and almost not pay tax ever again. Isn't that fun? Learn to play by the rules and tools too. So the lack of knowledge is why people do stupid things all the time. Simple. United States of America Incorporated. 50 corps called states, states called corporates called cities, and then they create a chapter nine bankruptcy under the Federal Protection Act in case shit hits the fan. Sorry to say it that way, but it's true. They filed 11 bankruptcies for cities in front of you and you did nothing. We the people, corporation per Supreme Court is a legal person. Stop bringing the pain home. Let's write down division of me. Let's look at that form line one. I can put a person's name, corporation, division, or subsidiary on line one. I can build you a corporate umbrella with a million bucks. But again, we got to basically rebuild you, most of you, because you basically brought the pain and screwed it up anyway. So let's understand. As we play this game today, it's pretty simple as we play the game to win. And understand, I wrote basically the series, Winning the Game of Business and Winning, 45 years ago. So here's a Lamborghini that I obtained part of the collection. And what do we look at? The bill is 6800 a month. Here's the key. So what do we do? Well, let's see. If I do it under me and I lose it, they take it away and report it to the credit bureaus and I'll have shitty credit. Sorry to say, but it's true. Then they report it to the IRS as a 1099C. Then I'll have double shitty credit. Well, I'm not stupid. If I buy it through the corporation because I'm an officer, they would sue the corporate to steal me anyway. So I'm not stupid again. See, the bottom line is you got to quit playing the game the way you do it. My way works. I bought it as a division of a corporation. Division of a corporation. Now, you remember I showed you SSN versus SS4? I guarantee you SS4. Now, what does this mean? 
if I run my shopping centers, my basically all the different things and the properties, and I have my storage units, my laundromats, the dry cleaning, and all the business I have, residual income, simple. I got a bad piece. What do I do? I do the disconnect, isolate, or incorporate the disconnect. I put it over here. I maintain all the good pieces. So under the Fair all right, Collections Practices Act, Credit Services Act and everything we're trying to do, federal trade as well, allows me to do one thing if something goes wrong. I can bankrupt the hell out of this under the Federal Protection Act. That means I can throw away the bad piece and keep all my good pieces over here. Now understand, it's like when you get a building guaranteed as a division, not you. Next thing is every piece of property you get should be a division of a corporation because you don't know who's going to slip and fall and kind of screw you up. Now, how you receive money doesn't matter as long as it's SS4 and what type of corporation you have. See, a corporation doesn't pay tax till it's profitable. We'll talk about your corporate if you don't have one, give you one too, at the setup in level one every Wednesday and Saturday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. The next thing we have to think about is the Fair Lending Act. Why? Because you're not winning the lottery today. You're not getting a big enough raise. What if I build you an unlimited gold card up to 100000 to a million bucks? What if I teach you how to get 99 more daisy chaining of credit because you're entitled to it? See, that's how you get the money to get the honey. And you get to write it off anyway. That's how you play the game and you never bring the pain home. Is that okay if we do it my way from now on? Now let's talk about Mary. Mary called me on the phone, called crying. Oh! Well, that's what she did. Mary gave $10,000 to the attorney. He looked at the lease. Good lease. Get a couple of options for 10 years. Oh, goody. She gave $5,000 to the CPA. He got to look at the bucks. But then all of a sudden, Mary, because she's Ivy League and quarter million dollars a year working for Apple, what does she do? She used $98,000 of her personal credit, and the score was $800. Went drop. What? She calls the attorney and CPA. What did I do? Their response, because they're stupid, <laughs> that's it. How many CPAs and attorneys have screwed you over? Come on, be honest with yourself. Do they know how to be an entrepreneur? Here's Mary's problem. Her restaurant went bankrupt. She filed bankruptcy. All right, from there. She had to file personal bankruptcy because that attorney had her guarantee it, which I call stupid. What Mary should have done, what you should have done in the first place is you, is learn to be a certified CFO. In other words, the division of the restaurant should have went bankrupt, disconnect, isolate, incorporate, never hurt the corp and her family, and her husband wanted to divorce her in the first place. He says, I didn't sign up for that. Your goal is to become a certified CFO and stop bringing the pain home. Now, look at a corporation if you have one today. Look online, find your name. Because your name's on the corporation, they sue it, they sue you. You haven't put your ducks in a row, and bottom line today, when they sue that corp, they sue you, it kind of sucks. Let me set up your line of defense for you. Will that be okay? I make sure you don't bring the pain home ever again. Your choice is simple. Here's a $100 million building, a $1 million Lamborghini. Here's a $5 million mansion, and a $1 million race, but I obtain all these things. Why haven't you? Well, these turned up today. It's kind of simple to listen and learn. But understand, you don't get goodies like this until you get to five million. Is that okay? Now let's understand. We want to make you a corporate millionaire. As we play this game, add you to my credit system. We rebuild you and find out what your goals are today. The next thing is we write down credit, loan, and money. You see, you had some money before and you pissed it away and went bye bye. I'd rather have you take a hundred thousand dollars, put it in a bank account for the corporation. Reference three times five. The bank will give you up to $1.5 million. You don't have the $100,000. Let's take one of the cards I build you. From there, your corporation has a division for franchise and an apartment complex man managed and managed by third party. You set up a line of defense. What does this do for you? It builds financial freedom. Your biggest mistake, all right, you did not build residual income. I was 17 and a half when I had my 19 houses. They told me I couldn't get 20. They questioned how I got 19. You know, and they told me no. I transferred them to my divisions. I freed up my loan to value problem. And the biggest thing I always did for me at 17 and a half, my bills were $1,000 a month. I needed 1000 a month automatically coming in. 
because I didn't want to bring the pain home. I work on other projects as well. So that's called residual income nowadays. I just call it basically paying my damn bills. Simple. 45 years in person online helping people like you. Simple today. Here's your life. You're running at a time. You're getting older, slower. You're not as pretty as you used to be. Your lack of knowledge is a stupidity of man and woman. You're not stupid, but you might have followed stupid. You have 33 days left of this year, and then it's over. Your corporations and your divisions need to be followed now. That way, come January, they're on their second year. But again, what did I do on my properties? I was fighting for $50,000. Found out the buyers are liars, the brokers and the agents too, the contractors and the subcontractor that sat outside Home Depot, all stealing my money. What did I do? Simple. At 21 years old, I wanted to be the bank. So what did I do? Pretty simple. I dissect and basically split deed all my properties. And what I did? Simon of mortgage. So you can understand you can become the bank if you choose to. The next, you have this series about financial. And you have the real estate one I created too. And what you can also do is assignment of asset. See, you sold a house or a car and you could have become the bank. You kind of blew it. You had an opportunity there too. But again, it's like residual income. If we get properties under the corporation division process, section eights or someone to manage it for you, which every real estate office will do for you too, we have to realize in 14 states, you can get them for $5,000 down payment. They're under 100,000 bucks. Why don't we buy three of them? You see, you got to learn to play the game and win, but that's up to you building residual income starting today. I like to make you a money-making machine, if you allow me to do that too. Now, understand, I have clients that sell products on Amazon, eBay, computers. I'm one of the original OPMs. Within 90 days, you pay the bill. In other words, OPM done on Bradstreet. So you can even sell supply and vendor credit as well. Amazon, eBay. Now, you don't get goodies like this until you get to $5 million, please. So understand God's gift. I love that. From there, how about race books? I got my name on them. Hey, everything I obtained, because I didn't get no mommy and daddy tell me I'm doing good, was a trophy. I like seeing my name and all the goodies, don't you? It's a marketing tool. There's a Duffy. Whee! And the big building and the Lamborghinis, too. You see, I have no excuses. Neither do you. The problem is I have everything I ever wanted. And I accomplish my goals all the time. There's me in 1981, highest kick, fastest kick on planet Earth. And they say, white men can't jump. How many stupid people can say that all the time? I was kicking the door jam at 10 and then the basketball hoop. Hell, I kicked out the lights that night. From there, no matter where you come from, you can accomplish your goal. The only thing I believe is in your way is you. Bottom line, don't hear no. Every time I hear somebody tell me no, I say thank you. Have a nice day. And then I go find a way anyway. You got a thousand steps to get millionaire. The millionaire's founder's kit I sold at the Bonaventure for 32 years for 5,000 a set. So let's draw this diagram in front of you. Here's a corporation and entities. Is that a corp owning a corp like the banks and grocery stores do? Because they went above the 5 million? All right, what I'd like you to do is division process in the beginning. Sam's Club, Geico, Cities. They do this in front of you. And what did you do to see what they did? You didn't do anything. You need to start stepping up, man up, woman up, look behind that damn curtain. Your opportunity is what you create. From there, stop bringing the pain home. Become a certified CFO, reprogram your brain to millionaire status. Now, I started my first blueprint. I was nine and a half at the Torrance Library. I always call it, see it, believe it, go get it. That was simple. From here, here's five things you need starting today. I think you're treading water and playing it safe. What if you listen to me and do it my way for a while? Because, hey, your way sucks and it didn't work. How about a sub of 50 score, a real one? Not a care, credit, first premier. How about a corporation with 30 divisions? How about we get you basically $100,000 to a million dollars of cash credit? How about checkbook money? How about supply and vendor money? These are a must-have. Remember, you can't take pictures and record. you got to write it down and put it here. That's what I told you now again and again and again, too. Simple. I would like to take your corporate handy one for free. I'd like to train you so you don't bring the pain home again, put your ducks in a row, and repackage you my way under the same corporate umbrella. 
Now, I've been doing rich and famous people for years, Lakers, Clippers, Dodgers, or Angels, too, and all kinds of fun stuff. I remember when Shane used to come in the office there, a woman would go, look at all those green lights. The green lights, there's eyes, green. Sugar Shane Mosey has green eyes, real green eyes. So the reality is he'd come in the office, some of the Lakers, too, had to duck under the door. You see, your problem is you, you have to learn to play the game, and you need to learn to win. But that's up to you if you pay attention today. So let's see what you did. Oh, you had your kitchen table meeting. Oh, goody, with you and your family and friends. Then what did you do? We're going to start a business, honey. And you jacked up your cards. You dropped your score. You got stuck. You couldn't get any more. <coughs> you backed yourself and your family in a corner. And you couldn't ride up Dilly Squat and hocked your house. Sorry. I call that stupid. And you're not stupid. Why did you do it that way? That way sucks. That's not how you get the American dream. But again, that's up to you. Let's write down today's date. Let's project 90 working days. You're going to fall down a thousand times. You're going to win 10. Simple to do. When I wrote Winning the Game of Business 45 years ago, I was just telling people what I was doing, creating a thousand a month, 2,000, 3,000, and up, up, and away. That was simple. So I put in my book on page six, paragraph three, cash flow free of my time. The bottom line is that's what you get to do for you. Now, here I am dead in a coma, July 5th, 2009. We're at millions and billions. My wife told everybody who's in a coma is going to probably die. She went over to the office at One Technology Drive. She saw Ron stealing my books with a U-Haul truck and CDs. Tom sold my websites and my phone numbers to a porn site. So the bottom line is you got to protect your assets. If you want a copy of the books and CDs, it's simple. They're free today. All you have to do is sell over 99 bucks. That cover, covers shipping and handling. There you go. Now, I got a three-day event coming up. All right. I've been fighting not to do this, but I have a bunch of clients pushing me to go to the books and CDs over a three-day period. So that's what we're going to do the weekend of Thanksgiving. So if you want to join them, it's simple. It's online. We're going to give people as a bonus, all levels one, two, and three for 90 days in 2024. We're going to give them all specialty classes, and we're going to give them $50,000 of cash credit on top of that, too. So the bottom line is it starts right away. If you sell over $1,999 today, all right, which $50,000 would cost you more than that anyway. There you go. Take a picture of Zell. Click. Ray Reynolds recipient, Ray at RaceCredit.com. Now, starting a business, ah, you don't have the people around. You're going to knock you off the cliff. They're going to catch you. You're going to fall off and die. Hold your breath. Now, for me, being used and abused as a kid, I thought it sucked. I had to get up at 2.25 every morning. If I got up at 2.30, the abuser would get me. Ever since then, I wake up at 2.25. My wife always says, sleep in. I can't. And my mind won't let me do that. So this morning, I got up at 2.25 like I always do. I went to my knees. I said, thank you, Jesus, for another day. Then I go look in the mirror. See, me, I didn't get a mommy and daddy have any excuse like most of you did. And I think you have excuses. The bottom line is you have to understand, put yourself in check. I believe you tell your friends and family an idea you have. And then what do they do? You want them to encourage you instead they interrupt you. And then they try to tell you how to do your own idea, which they haven't done diddly squat. Do they cloud your direction too? You see, your goal is simple. For me, July 4, 2009, got three yachts in the backyard worth millions and billions of dollars at the Bonaventure, 32 years. Every Wednesday night, 7 p.m., having fun, helping people like you. Next, I find myself in a coma. I'm going to die. I get to hear the tax attorney trick my wife to send a POA. The nurse asked my wife if I was a donor. They're going to rip out my heart and take it away. Jesus gave me a choice to stay in peace or go back. I said go back. See, I'm the example. I got to move 24 times until I'm 11 and a half years old. A lot of shitty people. I've been shot twice, nine, six times too. So I'm God's example. The bottom line is let's pay attention today. Turn these up, by the way. I got a book coming out, Jesus, not a drive through All right, being a Christian's way of life, no moment in time. The ultimate goal. Got another one called Bite Your Tongue, Love Longer. See, men have to shut up because women are tape recorders. Go yell at the sky. Now, I had to add more to this chapter, Sue, because my wife and my daughters, they have to bite their tongue, love longer, too. How about fighting the monster with them? How about bullshit doesn't pay your bills? How about fighting through the pain? 
I got 39 books ready to go when I get the next publisher too. Now, I think you have a problem. You got to get past go. I think you're stuck. Let's show you some Lamborghinis of Duffy, mansions, and white man do jump. And stupid people say we don't. More Lamborghinis. From there, race boats in the backyard, helicopters, u docks, yachts, and Ferraris. I call this a couple of goodies I obtained, and I call it Ray's Rules. So why don't you write down, see it, believe it, go get it. That's the blueprint I started when I was nine and a half. Credit repair, sorry to say, is a fraud. Can you imagine? They have a magic wand. They're going to remove your bullshit credit. Your stuff you screwed up. Oh, that's magic wand. Mine's broke. You see, an open collection account, they can't remove it. You got to kill the debt. Plus, credit repair is not supposed to collect money up front. Federal Trade says it right on the first page. And then you look at the Credit Services Organization Act. All you got to do is write down Section 611 and Google it today. If you have an open collection account, all you got to do is man up, woman up, negotiate the debt, and I'll rip off your creditor. From there, TRW stood for the reports wrong. Thomas Raymond Woolridge, bicycle parts information sold to Experian in 96. I drew the first one of these years ago when I was training Yarborough. It was good, fair, or hell no. So if you take these cards here and not jack up these, you can balance your score and not bring the pain home anymore. But your problem is the lack of knowledge. I want you to maintain a 750 the rest of your life and knock off the garbage you've been doing to you for your lack of knowledge. As we play, we negotiate a debt. That's what you need to do. All cards, 25, 29% rule. Wrap or rescore. All right, what do we do from there? 750, the KISS method, keep it simple, stupid. So understand your first 25 steps today, pretty simple to do. Number one, let's understand we want to copy or log into your credit karma. Intuit bottom 2020. All right, very simple on December 3rd because they were indicted three times as well. Kind of like that LifeLock company. Why do people pay these idiots? I'm sorry, they got indicted six freaking times. Their last indictment's $100 million. I don't understand the consumers being stupid. Oh, well, what can I say? What can I do? Why don't I obtain your credit reports today? Why don't you let me analyze you? I'll show you exactly for free how to get a 750 score in 90 working days. I'll even call out your case number on Saturday at 1.30 Pacific Standard Time in rotation live with me. So you can write it down. Know what needs to be done right away. Here's the form you didn't pay attention to. Sorry to say, sorry to do. SS5. You did your SS5 when you were 14 to 16, as long as it was before 71. If not, in 71, Nixon took the gold standard out, so mommy had to do it at the hospital. So the SS5 form equals SSN and 1040. See, that card you got in a personal wallet today is not even yours. Read it. Don't laminate. Don't carry with you. Don't use variety purposes. Property of social administration, not you. Come on, people. You got an SSN. You created the 1040 tax return. That's what it was for. You got your first paycheck years ago. All right. You thought they ripped you off until they pointed out the IRS gets your cut. You get the leftover. That's what makes us all a bunch of ducks and sheep when we don't look behind the curtain. It's kind of stupid. If you look at the IRS.gov 1244, you can almost file one single filing return and almost not pay tax anymore. Wouldn't that be fun to do it the right way? There's that SS5 one more time. Why don't we compare it to the SS4? Oh, legal name of entity, individual person. Oh, banks, grocery stores, and cities on line one, and you knew? Did you know that form can use 26 different ways? I explained that to Ted Turner when I was nine and a half years old, by the way. So guess what? Banking and credit purposes per entity. Is that okay? We give you more than a second chance to play. Your corporation's allowed four things. Write it down, but for tax, and you can't record. That means all corporate credit, all right, the bottom line is the corporation receiving money, or SS4, no taxes due to you, profitable. When you look at the corporate credit, we write it off the interest rate. Why? Because you're not winning the lottery, getting a big enough raise. The car is fleet price tax ID division, and then you get to get the free buffet at the hotel. See, the divisions are your line of defense. If you don't do it my way, when they sue the corp, they sue you. Line of defense, they're cheap, multiple functions, buy at wholesale price, multiple credit reports, real estate flippity dippity doots. 
That is the line of defense. I want to build you a corporate umbrella with a million dollars plus. Is that okay? Now, I'm going to guarantee exactly what I say I can do as long as you're part of the program. And you go to class and I'm following you on and you follow through. Violation, don't jack up cards. Don't apply during the program. That's all I ask you to do. If you do, I got to charge you a fee to close your case because you would have crashed the app or rescored too. So understand, you got an open collection account, negotiate the damn thing. There's five ways to kill a debt. You have an IRS problem, there's a solution for that too. We have the goal, step three. So understand today that 750 is waiting for you. That means very simple. Let me analyze you. Let me do a rapid refresh and I can push your scores up to 96 points in about three days, if not more, and get you some green lights. Is that okay if we do that like I did for this client too? We get to play. So let's understand today the rebuild your credit way. Wrap or rescore, you go to class on Saturday, Wednesday or Friday, and you learn the rules and tools. I charge $9.99 for that situation too, and a thousand dollar credit back to you. During the broadcast with me live like now, 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 I discount at half price, $4.99, and I give you a $500 card back to you. You see, I always want to give you 100% to 10 times your money back in a program through personal business credit. Don't worry, nobody does this on planet Earth besides me. I want you to maintain a 750 score. From there, you have to understand the banks require two years of a corporation or division for a line of credit. So that means a starter package for corporation today. Articles also as tax ID if you don't have them, they're free. From there, set up in level one every Wednesday and Saturday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. 999 bucks and I'm gonna hand you 5,000 of credit back. Five times your investment. $24.99, let me give you $25,000 of credit. I always want to give you five times you invested in a program so you get your money back up to times five. Analyze you, add history, and pop credit as soon as possible. That's the ultimate goal. And if you want that special today, you zell, zell, zell right away. Or you can call the office at 800-254-9506. If you use a card, they will charge you 5% processing fee because that's what the bank charges us too. Simple. Now, here's a problem. You're a voter. So am I. Did you know you added yourself to the robocall list? You added yourself, what, to the mailing list, junk mail as well? They sell the voting list 412 times a year. You have a cable bill. You have a corporation. Why don't you call 888-567-8688? Opt out for five years or a lifetime off the national mailing list. It's right in front of you, the phone number I just said to you. Very simple to do. Now, the next thing we have to plan is the problem. You allowed a friend and family member to rip you off. You spend thousands on crap that didn't work. Then you have to focus on safety credit. Every card has a sticky. You write down the limit. You maintain 25%. Always never pass 29%. And then what do you do? You set up a line of defense. You dropped your score. You got stuck. You couldn't get any more. You backed yourself and your family in a corner. That's not acceptable. It's time to man up and woman up and do it the right way. My way. Line of defense. All dashboards say this that I drew years ago. Zero to 29 is green. 30 is yellow. 50 is red. That way you can balance your debt and create the what? The line of defense. And never bring the pain home again. So let's understand. You stop jacking these suckers up now. All of them. But two. These two over here. What do they do? They don't fluctuate your credit ever. They have a paid time over time limit. And you can max them up to a million dollars. There's how you balance your score and you don't drop it under 750 anymore. Got it? We're going to use all those rules and tools that I developed for me for you. Pay attention today. You lose your job, have an emergency, what do you do? You run out of time, you run out of money, then you go jack up your cards and tell the world, feel sorry for you. Kind of sucks. But again, you need $5,000 now, now, now. Ask your friends, your family, the bank, what do you do? The bottom line is they all say no because you said I need it. The average person wastes $50 every other day. This 5,000 card in my hand, if I max it out, $50 uh, a month. So the average person pisses away $50 every other day. You also waste 140 a week. It's 600 a month. If I take 50,000 off a corporate credit card, I get to write it all off and go get two pizza pizza restaurants with a drive through using common sense during a pandemic. That's residual income, by the way. White men don't jump. Idiots say that all the time. 
Nixon took the gold standard out. Let's understand, write down race rules. Write down, I'm willing to sacrifice a division. I have no intent to do fraud, but I'm going to protect my family and my corporation. Write it down. See, that's how you have your cake and eat it too. Step seven, raise rules. Become a certified CFO. Never bring the pain home. Ultimate goal. There I am dead. Google the address. Find out I'm telling you the truth. Two commas, one crippled. Jesus said, get up. I got up. Freaked him out. Last one, I get to die and come back and help you. The devil's trying to hold us back and knock us down, but God's delays aren't God's denials. So I like to repackage you my way, like Humpty Dumpty. Would that be okay if I did it my way? Because I think your way sucks. Corporations are legal person that may sue or be sued, but the lack of knowledge is just to pity a man or woman. The lack of knowledge is kicking your ass ass. So this is pathetic. Hello, it's my job. Boo-hoo. Bottom line, this is ridiculous. If someone's really homeless and needs it, that's one thing. I lost my job. Get your ass up and go get a job. Drive an Uber, drive a Lyft, have a garage sale. Go to the church for the food for the kids. Knock off this crap. Hey, I came out of a coma with millions and billions. And I stole everything I had. What am I going to do? I sold my wedding ring, my Rolex, my necklace, my bracelet. And then from there, I had trail garage sales in Huntington Beach. I got sighted three friggin' times. Then I built a million dollars of credit in six weeks. You don't stay down. A corporation can build itself. Again, you got to learn how to play the game and quit bringing the damn pain home in the first place. He should have built residual income, so should you. But that's your own fault. The reality is being responsible. Divisions are the line of defense. Remember what you're willing to sacrifice from now on. Instead of your family, the division, not the corp and the family. If you allow me to get the tax ID for you, this allows me to set up the credit report through tax ID, the Spirit and Transual and Equifax. This means I'm going to build you cash credit and line you up for checkbook money. Divisions allow us to get millions of dollars of credit. I wrote it in my book called Buckets of Money, 190000 a month. You look at your corp today. Go ahead. It's online. You'll see your name. When they sue it, they sue you. You didn't put your ducks in a row. And I basically understand when they sue the corp, they sue you. I call that it sucks. So understand the line of defense. I'm going to build your line of defense better than you ever had in your life. We're going to do it my way for a while. If you allow me to use the Fair Lending Act for you, I'll get you one card, and I'll show you or do it for you how to get 99 more cards. There's how you get the money to get the honey. Because you're not winning the lottery, you're not getting a big enough raise, and you got to quit stealing the money from the family because that's called silly and dumb. Then we're going to go get some checkbook money. Is that okay? We're going to teach you how to daisy chain credit step by step all the way. Now, divisions, I wrote a book on that too since I invented it, 89 Ways to Use the Division. Simple. Each division comes with tax ID, 2000 of history. You used to get two divisions, three divisions, all right, for $1,497. Today, you can get three for $9.99 if it was done during this broadcast, and it's a Zell, Zell, Zell right away. From here, you can call the office right away, 800-254-9506, and say you saw Ray on the webinar now, 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 and they'll basically give you the discount, too. So what happens? I like goodies. You like goodies, too? So understand goodies. I got to ride with Neil Diamond twice, and the Harleys and the nonprofit, too. So understand, you don't get things like this till you hit $5 million. I like to build you a million dollars of cash credit cards and up to $5 million of checkbook money. Would that be okay? If I rebuild you over here, then I get you the green card unlimited to $100,000 and the other two at $30,000 each. There's 160 times nine. Oh, how about the blue times nine? How about Wells Fargo times nine? How about ink times nine? How about the gold times nine? Have to $5 million up to that? Hey, maybe talk to the other five cards I like too. So that's called checkbook money. Your banks will give you up to 150 unsecured line of credit. Very simple to your corporation. Now, these are the five that I like the best. But the other ones as well too. So let's understand today up to $5.4 million. So we have the ability to play in the game and win. But that'll be up to you as well as we play. So all of a sudden we get checkbook money and it multiplies by division process. 
I have all kinds of people in the coaching process lined up for this. So they get another one and another one and another one too. It's kind of fun. That's how they get past a couple million in corporate credit. Now I got specialty classes every Saturday during my 10 classes, first in the morning, 30 in the morning from the, after the goal setting, we have specialty class in rotation. This Saturday we have nonprofit. I think you should allow me to build you the cash credit. You used to borrow money so you can buy your lifetime income. It's called residual income. And that way you do it the right way in the first place, which you never did. That is have your cake and eat it too. Raise rules, very simple, become a certified CFO, never bring the pain home. So you can play. Now let's pretend you're listening 100% and I'm gonna hand you a check for a million bucks. And the first thing you are think, what do you wanna do? I wanna buy a house or a car, knock off the crap. Okay, this is ridiculous, all right? You put that money in your personal account, you get to keep 375. If you put it in the corporation and division of you, you reference three times five, up to 15 million, and then you pay all the bills first, then you pay tax on the leftover. No leftover, no tax. You play my way. Let's say today you're paying attention, you win the lottery. Now what? I wanna make you to understand the division of you. You're gonna sit down with the bank. You're gonna deposit that check into a corporate bank account using the tax ID. And then your CPA insurance, well, you don't have an account in your name, then you stop the crap. Because they don't know what the hell they're really doing when it comes to being an entrepreneur. What we're gonna do is have a division of you. You're gonna put that money there, borrow against it. You're gonna use the borrow money and spend that to create debt under the corporation. Borrow money is not taxable. You're gonna leverage that into the millions and billions. Now, 11 cities fall bankruptcy. Simple, the United States of America incorporated 50 corps called states and states called cities, and they have a chapter nine bankruptcy. See, you could have played the same game without bringing the pain home, but you didn't know how to play. Just don't have any intent to do fraud, okay? Step nine, now I need you to Google bankruptcy. The next time blank hits the fan, in other words, the next time shit hits the fan, is it SSN or SS4? Make a decision, it's up to you today. So guess what you get to do? Play my way. Let me add you to my credit system, build you up to a million dollars of credit. You go to class, you don't fall in your want, and you follow through. You beat your dad, run your race. Get out of my way or I rebuild you, please. So I believe in giving you past go because I think you're stuck. God's gift, the mansions in the harbor, the race boats and the yachts with my name on it too. Oh, good Lamborghini buildings and helicopters too. Now, in the future, I'd like you to change your driver's license or right, to a mailbox, etc., or basically a P.O. box or mailbox or something you can do. More privacy, please. Step 12. Now, I need you to look at your car you drive today. Hey, you went to the dealership. You let them sweat you for five hours. Treating like a duck and a sheep. You lost nine inquiries and $20,000 of credit, too. That's not how you buy a car, by the way. A car is fleet price tax ID division. See, it's not the fact you want to use it as a write-off. The fact is the registered owners needs to be a division because if there's a bumpity bump, they sue you and take everything you got today. That house, you want to put two people on the loan? No. If you do that and you lose the house in a car, you have shitty credit. Then they report to the IRS as a 1099C, and now you got double shitty credit. No. Should have bought the house through the trust and then the car to a division of a corporation. There's that 1099C, there you go. So let's understand, please plan the problem. The issue is the registered owners who they sue when there's a bumpity bump. Let the registered owner be a division of a corporation and not you. That's the ultimate goal. So from here we play, every property you ever get is a division. You don't know which one's gonna slip, fall and sue you and screw you up. From here, let's understand today, your house payment offsets your taxes. Amazon didn't pay any tax on the first 10 billion to double trade. Why would they do that? They're playing the game. They're allowed to, and there's no loophole. You watched him buy Twitter within two days using lines of credit. The banks kind of piss off at him now. It was worth 44 billion. Now it's worth 19 billion. I mean, he screwed it up in less than a week. What an idiot. Sorry, I think he's not that bright at all. That's just my opinion. All right, he did twilly d twilly dumb. X marks the spot. He does have a spaceship. So the other two guys, you could win the game if you want to play and make sure you don't basically bring the pain home ever again. 
Step 15 today, run your life through a corporation or conjunction, pay tax or buy a Lamborghini. It's simple. You get a paycheck. It's taxable income. You get the leftover. You pay the car, gas payment, garage registration, insurance on the leftover. Why do you do that? You should be driving a company car like I do. The ultimate goal is how you play the game. So that's step 17. Now let's understand today. Why don't we go to irs.gov, get an SS4. Find out it really says banking and credit purposes. That you never had to be a duck and a sheep. You chose to follow that. Here's mama. After 71, she had a baby. Lexington took the gold standard out, which means every woman at the hospital had to sign the SS5 for the baby at the bond up to $55 million a piece. That's what the baby gets to do. Go home and take a nap. Everything is rules and tools, by the way. So let's play. You buy a house, escrow, close homestead trust. You have a house that's not in the trust. When they sue you, they take it away. When you die, it's stuck in the probate. Your family got diddly squat. You hire the contractor to fix up a property. They hire the subcontractor at Side Home Depot. They slip, fall, and cut corners, and they sue you to take everything you got. In my way, they get diddly squat. I like my way better than that. What do you think? Irrevocable trust? That's step 19. Why don't you learn how to play the game? And if you're a crook, go to prison. Hey, come on. If you don't file your tax returns, there's no way to play peekaboo with the IRS making a mess. So let's understand today. Wesley Snipes ruined his whole life and career. He listed idiot attorneys and CPAs in Beverly Hills, California. Three years in prison, $5 million fine. Being stupid. The reality is pretty simple. No peekaboo with the IRS making a mess. That's step 20, by the way. So if you want to be an OPM, save up to 70%. All right, pay the bill up to 90 days. Leverage money into the millions of dollars. Borrow money's not taxable. And you set up your line of defense. By the way, that's called step 21. That's called blackjack. Looks like you get to win if you do it my way. So let's understand. The Ray Reynolds University. One technology drive for a run spectrum. Three locations in other states up to a million dollars a day. All right, my dream came true. Then I got to go in a comb and they stole my life. Come back and I'm homeless again. What am I going to do? Go home and got boohoo like you? No, thank you. I took out my blueprint. See it, believe it, go get it. I took out my five closet divisions and literally built over a million dollars of credit in six weeks. Why do you stay down? Thousand steps to millionaire. It's in the millionaire's founder's kit. You want to join me for the three days? It's the holiday weekend, Thanksgiving, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We're going to go through the 18 books and CDs. From here, I'm going to give you bonuses if you did it today. All that are level one, two, and three for 90 days in 2024. From there, specialty classes too, and up to $50,000 of cash credit. But again, that starts today if you zelled over $1,999. Now, now, now. There's your zell, zell, zell. So understand I like boring businesses. I really do. I wrote the book on laundromats and dry cleaners, storage units, and have fun with that. That's fun. I had my 22 payphones, and that was 22,000 payphones back then. I didn't have to go collect the money. There's a third party to do that. So I like the businesses that create money. I want to own it but not run it. I think when you run a business, it's sound like having a damn job. So if we get up to 40,000, it's expect three to four to 10,000 a month. 100,000 up to 45, 250 up to 75,000 a month. So you have to understand you should basically own it, not run it. An example for real estate, 1968, it's already there. And I own again, not new, I want something existing. Why? Because they have people that already lease them out. From there, the new loan, 300,000 300, down, 10%. We use the corporate credit. Now I got an income. Your problem is you think you're done. You're not done. All it takes is one of those tenants to slip, fall, and sue you and screw you up. You ruin everything you're trying to do. The bottom line is you're not done. We're going to split DD each unit and sign with a mortgage. I'd like you to become the bank. And you create 76, 800 a month. As you become the bank, they can't sue you. You can sue them. The reality is you just transfer the liability the opposite way. But again, real estate, franchise, storage units. We have a three-month, six-month, and a 12-month program. You're going to own it. You're not going to basically run it. So that would be the goal. But that's up to you. You go to an expo, you're like a deer in the headlight. What do we pick? Again, understand how to play. 
$125,000 down, three locations, $63,000 a month. 47 down, $30,000 a month. From there, you see opportunities, which you should see. From there, you want a Wendy's restaurant or a gas station. You see, your bottom line is looking at opportunity and creating that to the corporations and the divisions too. So that's where that checklist comes in. We create a goal list together. We dissect past, present, and future. Daily list, weekly list, and then we get to the project list as well. Ultimate goal is very simple. You should build residual income, which you never did, and that's your biggest mistake. Because what happens, you get older, slower, you know, as pretty as you used to be. Our goal is to understand the American dream. So all classes, workshops, and you know, all the things, and calls, and rapper rescore. The goal is to master five things. So projects, phone calls, daisy chaining of credit. You got the three months, $1,000 down, and you can pay the balance of 7,000 during the three months. You pay in full, it's at $8,000 today, and I will build 100,000 cash credit added to the package if you paid in full. If you put 1,000 down for the six months program, no problem. All right, you basically pay the payments during the six months. From here, if you paid in full $15,000, I'm going to build you 250000 of cash credit. If you wanted the last one of the 12 months problem programs, it's 1000 down. You maintain your payments in the 12 months of 31000 broken down into payments. Or you paid in full today for $25,000. That means I'm going to build you half a million dollars of credit if you paid in full. All right, if it was done today. There's your zell, zell, zell. Simple to do. Now, Warren Buffett's a nice guy. The reality is simple. I want you to do the same thing he did. There's no difference between him and you. It's your turn to build residual income. Corporations, a legal person that may sue or be sued. Divisions give you the line of defense. That way you can always sacrifice a division, never the corp in your family. From there, divisions allow us to build millions of dollars of credit. You'll find it in my book called Buckets of Money too. From there, you have 89 ways how to use the division. From there, each division, we have to add tax ID in 2000 of history. The ultimate goal is pretty simple. Usually you get 499, three for 1497. Today you get three for 999. There's your Zell, Zell, Zell. If you need to call the office, it's simple. It's 800-254-9506. What are you willing to lose? See, I never got a family as a kid. I finally got a wife, six kids, and 10 grandkids. Corporation, I can't hurt that either because it hurt me. Division process. So understand everybody should get their cake and eat it too, and they should always get checkmate. That's step 23, the ultimate goal. So reach in the dream, think to be the impossible. I've done it all my life. Raise rules, millionaires, corporations to divisions, training people to be a certified CFO. So if you got joint credit, get out of it. It's, it's just in the way. You buy a house, escrow close homestead trust. Corporations are free in all 50 states. You pay a filing fee. You divisions for real estate, franchise, current business, and a lot of defense. I'm the only one on planet Earth who wants to give you up to 10 times your money back when you invest in a program that I give you, and I personally train you too. No more excuses. You get to write it off, up, up, and away. Step 24. If all you want me to do is help you get a 720 to a 750, okay, let's analyze you. From there, it's very simple to do as we analyze the credit score, ultimate goal. All right, I mean, from thing from there, got to get from there. All right, so from here, what do we get to do? Simple, wrap a rescore. So your goal is very simple today. All right, we go through that process. You go to class. All right, you learn about the rules and tools how to play. The ultimate goal is 750. Normally, 999, you get a thousand or card back. Today, during a broadcast, we discount at half price. 499, you get a $500 card. From there, that's how you maintain a 750 for the rest of your life, too. From there, the starter package, or if you don't have the articles, I'll just tax it. I'll hand them to you for free. Set up in level one every Wednesday and Saturday, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. 999, I give you 5,000 of credit back, five times your investment. 2499, $25,000 of credit. Bottom line is simple. We analyze, we add history, and we try to pop you as soon as possible, too ultimate goal. You want something like that today? You zell, 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 or you call the office at 800-254-9506. Give referrals, we'll build more credit. 
If you want 10%, no problem. As long as they say your name when they sign up. If not, they blew it for you. So I always give you my email address too. Remember, your banks and grocery stores in front of you file bankruptcy and locations. Your ultimate goal for you is to not bring the pain home ever again. So the bottom line is look behind that curtain. We basically stay safe. We stay strong. We do our best. Jesus does the rest. Amen to that too. The end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, it will be up to you. I would call the number right away to get anything offered today too. 800-254-9506. Always remember, we do our best. God does the rest. Amen to that too. And never forget at the end of the day, God loves us all.